Hi, this is Emily Zlaney with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com, and I'm here with the cast of Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. My brother gave his life hunting the enemy. His task is now mine. Which also happens to be TV Guide Magazine's fall preview cover on newsstands this week. Um, and it's just so exciting to get to see the three of you. Um, now, let's start with our mother and son dynamic. Um, Nazanin, Tyro, whoever wants to start, uh, what what does this dynamic look like between Bronwyn and Theo? Complicated. Fiery. <laughs> uh, troublesome. Yeah. Love, full of love. Um, yeah, she. he's a rebellious teenage kid. Uh, I think parents will relate to sort of the struggle. Kids will relate to the struggle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think essentially she loves him dearly and she wants to protect him and feels him slipping away, uh, distancing himself, isn't sure of what's going on with him. Um, and also she's in a forbidden romance with an elf. So that causes some problems. Yeah, yeah I think um, sort of the, the relationship between between Bronwyn and Theo is sort of a testament as well to all those all those parents out there who who had to step in um, in place of the absence of, of another parent. And I think Bronwyn um, is a is a really, really great testament to them. And, um, you know, I've got a lot of friends that are very close to me that that go through similar experiences that, that Theo goes through. And I, I, I spoke to them and um, I drew inspiration with that, um, from them. Um, and and it, it's a really, really important dynamic to, to show and to tell. And um, it's a privilege to be able to do that. Oh, I mean, I have to say the one thing that surprised me the most about Bronwyn, I mean, she's everything like she's a healer. She's a single mom. She's got this forbidden romance going on, but she's also a badass. Yeah, I mean, and I was so excited to see that. I, I And it's unexpected, which I love. I love that she's unassuming and then you you don't see her sort of in a lioness uh, until you see it um, and yeah I love I love how layered and, and complex she is amazing now let's also talk about High King Gilgalad who is not the elf that she's in a forbidden romance with I feel like I need to <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. correct <laughs> yeah, Gilgalad, he never he never gets married does he ever fall in love he, he never, well we'll see oh. but we know from the source material he never takes a wife Oh. He's, he's wed to the plight of Middle Earth. That's right. He's the kind of guy he devoted is. To <laughs> Very else? devoted. Well, that was actually, that kind of goes perfectly with what I wanted to ask you about was how much did you study the source material? Because obviously there is some stuff that we know about him, but there's a lot that we don't know. And what did you, what did you incorporate in your own portrayal? From well, I mean, it's a great job in that they pay us to read Tolkien. It's, <laughs> like, don't tell them we enjoy it. Um, but uh yeah, I mean, most people know him from that song that Sam sings in the movies, but there is a lot to learn about him. And even if it's not specifically about your character, I think for all of us, every time we return to the material, there's something to learn about the context or something they would have lived through or something that they know that you should know. Um, and there's a lot to glean about Gil Galland and a lot that you can infuse in him, ma mainly that he is ahead of the curve on the detection of evil. He has a kind of elvish spidey sense where he, he's playing the long game of chess and he's ever aware. Absolutely. I mean, that's a good position to be in for sure. King um, Elves, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> start off by telling the viewers who you each play and how you each differ since there are quite a few differences. Um, do you wanna start, Sara, you wanna start? Um, yes, sure. I play <laughs> Marigold Brandyfoot. Uh, I am a matriarch of the Halfwood tribe. Um, I am I'm a little tough, but um, but my main focus is is comes from love um, to protect my family and my community. Um, I'm parent to the wonderful Nori, played by Michaela Kavanagh, and to Dilly, and I'm surrogate mum to Poppy, played by the wonderful Megan Richards here, um, and I'm wife to Largo, the, the fabulous Dylan Smith, um, and I want the half foot way of life to continue as it has been for generations, but I'm facing a bit of a challenge with, with Nori and her, um, her newfound, or not even newfound, her developing curiosity with the wider world. Nice. Markella? So yes, I play I play Nori Brandyfoot, and she's a very curious 
very inquisitive, very resolute halfbot who just is currently grappling when we meet her with um, just wanting her, the, it, she's just basically the, the balance between dedication to family and a fervent interest in adventure. And she just wants the two worlds to collide and she wants them to be able to coexist. And um, so she's just grappling with that and and the responsibility she has and the interest in the unknown. And so we just see her, we see how that manifests and, and see what she gets up to uh, with her best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Megan <laughs> and I play Poppy Proudfellow um, and she is uh, the more cautious of the two I think actually um, <laughs> she's also very observant and um, quite knowledgeable too um, but she she the rules that the half but community have in place are there in order to ensure everyone's safety and she really that really resonates with her um and you'll begin to understand that throughout the series too which is really cool um but yeah she um the reason i think the thing that drives her throughout this story is definitely the love and loyalty that she has for her friend nori um and that's the reason why she sticks by her side you know also because of like a comfort blanket but also because you know, Poppy doesn't do anything that she doesn't want to do. Um, so there is also a curiosity there from her as well, but it's just not so prominent. The main theme for her, the first thing for her is to be by Nori's side and make sure that everyone's all right. Awesome. I mean, she's going to need the help because we know yeah. early on, <laughs> we know early on that um, Nori and... Um, Poppy encounter the stranger um, who is a very mysterious character. What are their initial reactions to this new presence in their world? So Nori, I mean, this is kind of something that she has been, she's, she's, I think really interested and intrigued by the stranger because it's not like she's actively been searching for the stranger per se but she has been looking for something mm -hmm. to encourage her adventure and to also help her feel seen and heard and listened to and and that her interests are to be taken seriously and then I think that the reason why they connect so quickly is because they both recognize each other's fear in that moment in the crater that you see is that they both are aware that they'll feel and I won't speak for, for Daniel, who Daniel Wayman who plays a stranger, but at least in Nori's case, she feels like, yeah, she's been underestimated and that people are, are, are seeing her her curiosity as, as her just being naive and young um, and that it's not grounded in anything, anything more than that. Uh, and there's something that happens in the in the connection in, in that they have, in the eye contact they have, that goes, oh, this might be this might be this might be it this might be kind of a, an opportunity to to uh feel connected in that way um so that all happens within like the five minutes <laughs> <laughs> that they lock eyes it's a lot it's a lot, it's a lot. Yeah. everyone go check out the lord of the rings the rings of power thursday september 1st on prime video and don't forget to pick up a copy of tv guide magazine's fall preview issue with lord of the rings on the cover on stands now